Welcome to our first episode of our monthly podcast. It is now October and we have lots of exciting events happening throughout the Harbour District. Hello, my name is Catherine and I am joined by my colleague Taylor. Hi guys. And we are from the Physical Activity and Sport Development Department at Harbour District Council. Our role is to provide and promote physical activity and sport opportunities for people of all ages in Harbour. So, today we will be talking to two Park Run volunteers, individuals who attended and ran the very successful Sporting Memories event, and finally we will be discussing the much-awaited build-up to the annual Hara Sports Awards. So on to our first guests, Roger and Beverly, who um, are the co-event directors for the Saturday Park Run at Welland Park. Hello guys, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, so for listeners who don't know, uh, what is Parkrun? Well, Parkrun is very simply a free weekly timed jog, run or volunteer in the park. And that's Welland Park here locally in Harbour. Um, and it is simply a very inclusive community event. We have over 600 parkruns across the UK and much more globally as well. Uh, and simply every Saturday at 9 o'clock uh, we operate uh, and look after a 5k run around Welland Park and every Sunday at 9 o'clock is a 2k junior park run, uh, again free weekly timed every week. Wow that sounds great, so um, who can participate in these park runs? In a word anyone, it's all free and as I said before anyone can take part and that's from pensioners to parents with their children, people pushing crams, wheelchair users, people with their dogs, club runners, casual runners, visually impaired runners. It's running, jogging, walking, all ages and all abilities. And junior park runs start from the age of four up to 14. And all you need is some suitable exercise clothing, suitable footwear and the all important barcode. Mm -hmm. Simply go online to register and that's at www.parkrun.org.uk. And each park run has its own web page too, and Market Harbour also has a Facebook page. But just to remember, each course is different and could have slightly different terrain. So certain park runs will have slightly different rules, so it's always best to check about dogs and wheelchairs. Thank you. It's great that it's um, so inclusive. So why is it that you volunteer and how long have you guys been doing it for? Well, I volunteered. I first started parkrun just before the Market Harbour one set up, so I started in Corby, and that's one thing to remember that there are quite a lot of other parkruns in the neighbouring area as well. There's Corby, Kettering, Leicester, Victoria, Rugby, and Northampton around us, and junior parkruns not only at Market Harbour but most locally Desborough Green Space as well. So I'd started and I'd done a few runs, and then Market Harbour started up just under five years ago. Um, and after a few park runs, I just felt I wanted to put something back and take a, take a turn at volunteering. I saw all these volunteers helping park run happen every, every week. And then after you volunteer a couple of times, you quickly realise the joy that volunteering gives to you personally, how valued and appreciated you feel, um, and then you want to give more back because you see what it means to everyone's lives. So that's how I first started. Um, I uh, fairly quickly then got to know a lot of people who were also co-volunteers, a core team that operates the run directors, and then for the past couple of years or so, um, have joined in with Bev to run the, run the event and look after the Harbour event, which is just one of the most wonderful and life-changing things that's ever happened to me. Oh, that's really great to hear, yeah. So just kind of in general, what do you like about the park run, both of you? Okay, so like about parkrun, can I change that to love about parkrun <laughs> please? So it's the camaraderie, it's a sense of community, belonging to something, um, the fresh air, being outside in the fantastic Welland Park and I just wanted to say thank you to Harbour District Council and Harbour in Bloom for maintaining this park, it's great for us. But thinking about earlier this month we had the mental health day focus, again being outside being with similar people in such a great environment, it definitely gets a big tick from me. And it's having a chance to try something new in a very supportive and inclusive environment. It's a run, it's certainly not a race, and you are running against yourself, but with friends. And you can watch other, others progress. It's friendly and it's healthy competition. 
And then once you've finished Park Run, well, there's nothing better than finishing off with a nice cup of tea and a cake at Roy's Cafe in Welland Park. The social side is amazing and there's lots of chatter. And then to the volunteering, it's a chance to give something back when you're injured or have a longer run on the Sunday. As a park runner, you're able to tourist and go to lots of other tourist um, park runs. We celebrate together. Park Run was 15 years old earlier this month and several RDs, including myself, celebrated their 100th run and 100th volunteer. You get that recognition, you know, you're in a very supportive environment and um, after my 100th park run I received a t-shirt, a black t-shirt to recognise my 100th park run. So again, if we're working towards something every week. Hashtag park run family, you'll hear it and see that a lot and it's definitely here to stay. Roger? I think the only two things I'd say to that, Beth, um, because there's a wonderful summary, um, is that, first of all, if I look back to the very start, when I first ventured to my first park run, I was a bit nervous about what to expect. I didn't, didn't really know. And a lot of people say this to us when they first arrive. They don't know what to expect. We welcome people. We give everyone a first-time briefing. But often we hear stories of why people didn't come earlier. And it's because they were a bit may be afraid of it being too fast for them, of them just not knowing what's going to happen. Um, and some of the things that every park run does, again there, and we're no, no exception, is that every park run has what we call tail walkers. So these are people who always will walk and support everyone. Mm -hmm. So no one ever finishes last, everyone is fully, fully included. Um, and most recently at Market Harbour we've introduced a lovely new role which combines running and walking. So that we'll have somebody who'll start off walking for maybe two minutes and then just start with a little jog for maybe 30 seconds or so, back to walking for two minutes, another little jog and progress like that. But at the same point, plenty of walkers as well that are very welcome. And again, always with a tail walker that um, proceeds at the end of the, of the park run. But other than that, my only other point is to, to look back to how park run first started just over 15 years ago now. And the founder, a chap called Paul Sinton Hewitt of, of Parkrun, he was injured at the time and actually he'd lost his job and was suffering a bit of a bad time, perhaps uh, from a mental health perspective, and he missed his running friends. So he organised uh, down in, uh, in Bushy Park uh, in London, a, a, it was designed to be then, again a free weekly timed run, uh, organised for 13 of his friends to come and run with another four volunteers and they just set off one morning Saturday at nine o'clock and he did that, not for the run, he did that because he missed his friends and he wanted the social and the coffee side of it at the end. Um, and that's what Parkrun, when you do it a few times, is really about, becomes less about the run and more about that community event. Amazing, well, what a great summary. So it's just great to hear sort of the valuable experience people get from it, the social side, you know, if they're struggling with isolation or like you say, the inclusive environment that you create to you know get people you know involved who for a while have been oh i want to run but yes. i don't feel confident to go and people can make friends and obviously the mental health benefits as well along with the physical benefits so yeah really great thank you absolutely yeah so thanks for your time yeah and we really do appreciate it so, look forward to anyone else who wants to come down on a saturday or a sunday morning for junior park run as well Brilliant. Thank and you. thank you. And don't forget your barcode. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Now on to our Sporting Memories event that took place at Harbour Town Football Club, attended by those in the local community. This event is run by Leicester City and the organiser of the event joins us today. So I have Dave Eason here with me now and he runs a Sporting Memories event here at Harbour Town Football Club. Hi Dave. Good afternoon. Uh, so now for the listeners who may not know, can you tell us a bit about Sporting Memories and what is involved for the service users? Yeah, we're in partnership with Sporting Memories. Um, it's reminiscent to the past and, and health and wellbeing and it's linked with a project we call Dead Now and Forever. Um, and we go out to events in the community and we visit dementia cafes, Alzheimer's cafes, popping cafes. Uh, we work with people in social isolation, loneliness, uh, lots of different people. And we run these events uh, at the stadium and also in the community. 
and we get people together and we talk about sport, not just Leicester City, but we talk about groups, different um, things that Leicester City have done, Leicester City in the past, Leicester City in the present, which is the then, now and forever. Any memories that people have got about Leicester City, any memories they want to share, um, whether it's in the future, whether it's the past, anything they've done, all their memories. And we've got some old footballs, we've got a rattle, we've got different things that help along the way. Um, old pair of football boots. And what we do is, we then let people, there's no pressure, and we let people talk about things that are relevant to them which then brings up something else with somebody else who remembers and we start to get a two or three way conversation. Um, yeah, that's pretty And it yeah. works yeah. really well. So it is, it is about sport, but it can also be things about other things. Life you know, in general, yeah. Life, life in general. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. That's such a lovely opportunity for people to sort of come together and talk about their previous experience of sport, really. Um, so what was kind of the rationale behind Sporting Memories and... You know, who'd, how could it benefit people in the community? Um, we went to a conference in, in we went to a conference in Manchester based around sporting memories, um, and they spoke a lot around dementia um, and how dementia affects not just the person but but the carer, your wife, your husband, um, and how life can be very challenging if you've got mm -hmm. dementia and how Sporting Memories is linking with other organisations like ourselves to work with different football clubs to bring groups together. Definitely, um, yeah. And they run weekly groups. Mm -hmm. Sporting Memories are looking at doing a weekly group. At the moment we have a monthly group, um, like a monthly social club that started up. In the new year we may have run that to do a fortnightly session, not weekly. Within Harper, is that uh, It will be within, no, we'll be at the football stadium. At the football stadium. At the King Power Stadium, yeah. yeah. We're going to do it in the centre of the stadium. That will be the that will be the focal point in the, the sports bar. And it give people an opportunity to come, have a tea and a coffee and a chat, um, talk about football, maybe do some botcher or play different. That's what the sporting memories do. Mm. Um, and we will move to do something along those lines so anybody can sort of come and just share their memories um, Brilliant, yeah. and talk about different things and it could be a simple thing as well we talk about Skegness because Skegness has got a local <laughs> league to Leicester yeah. and everyone's been to Skegness and we can get around talking about the donkeys and different things and <laughs> ice creams and candy floss um, so we start with with a sporting thing but then it's yeah. reminiscing about other things people to socialise yeah. yeah and the good thing is there's no pressure you know you don't you can just come and say hi I'm Dave or you can do you can speak as much as you it's want informal, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, there's no pressure yet yeah. no it's, it's a great good. setup you've got yeah. it's really it's really good. brilliant to hear what you do so thank you no problem <laughs> enjoy that so next up we have Steve who took part in the most recent sporting memories event uh, hello Steve thanks hello. for joining us today um, so what is it you enjoy about the Sporting Memories event and uh, do you feel it's enhanced your well-being, your happiness? I thought it was really good. It was really good to be with, with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. um, I thought the conversations were great uh, and, I, and I, co I consciously got a lot out of it. That's um, yeah. And I really, I feel I benefited mm. by that. Um, yeah, anything particular or is it... You, you're a Leicester City fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm um, big into Leicester. Mm -hmm. all, all, always, always have been. Um, and it was just nice to be with like minded people um, where, where I thought we had a good bit of fun. Mm. Yeah. Quite a relaxed atmosphere then as well. It was extremely relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, brilliant. Yeah. So from my perspective, I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's great. Um, like you say, it's, it's good to hear that, you know, might enhance people's quality of life and socialisation, whether they, you know, have dementia or not. Um, so, yeah, thank yeah. you, uh, Steve. And um, thanks to Dave as well for sharing your experiences and knowledge today. Um, I'm sure there'll be some listeners out there who may find this useful. Um, and it could maybe even be something that a family member might benef benefit from. Uh, or it might inspire people to volunteer at an event in the future. Yeah, yeah. What else have we got going on this month, Taylor? We've got the very exciting and fast approaching annual Harbour Sports Awards, which is organised by the local sports alliance Active Harbour District. 
Um, it's to recognise the great sports and achievements and physical activity projects that are taking place across the district. So Leanne, can you tell us more about the Sports Awards? Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Um, we're hosting the event on the 13th of November 2019 uh, at Leicester Grammar School in Great Glen. Uh, we've got some brilliant awards up for grabs this year, including Sports Person of the Year, Junior Sports Person of the Year, uh, Community Impact, Twilight Achiever, Physical Activity Star, Club of the Year, Team of the Year, and Unsung Hero. So there's plenty of awards up for grabs we might have a couple of special awards on the night as well. Oh, sounds like a great evening you've got planned. Um, have there been many nominations and has it been difficult to choose winners? Oh, we've had absolutely tons of nominations. We've been inundated, to be honest with you. Um, the panel met, discussed, had a few fights, um, but all is good in the end. Um, we're really, really pleased with the uh, selection of winners which we've chosen. Um, you know, if we could have everybody as a winner, we certainly would. But um, we're so lucky in this district to have such a breadth and depth of uh, physical activity talent, uh, sporting talent um, and a lot of dedicated people out there making things happen. Good, so who's sponsoring this year's event? Well, we're really lucky this year. Um, we've got quite a number of uh, sponsors. Um, Everyone Active are going to be the main sponsor um, overarching the whole event. But a couple of local sponsors as well. We've got the Training Shed, Harbour Lotto, Freedom Support Solutions, ASO Physio and Podiatry, HFM and support in the event. Um, we've got MJ Engineering as well, plus Fire Tree Visual. Well, that all sounds great. Thank you for coming. Um, we look forward to hearing all about it in next month's podcast. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to check out our social media platforms, which you can view in the description. You can subscribe and activate your notifications so you're informed of when our next podcast is live. Also, feel free to comment below on what you'd like us to talk about next time or if you have any questions about today.